Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another planner update. I have a lot that I wanna fill you in on. My wallet, which is a small um, pocket-sized file of facts. My Louis Vuitton agenda and the medium size that I'm in a long love affair with. And then my planner piece, which is my binder planner. You guys know we're all obsessed with this system. Um, I have a couple videos on it, but I wanted to do an update because it's really getting like dialed in and fine-tuned and I'm loving this system. And I have some new free printables for you guys, so obviously that's key. And I think I better probably flip the camera so you can see closer what I'm doing in here. But um, yeah, let me switch it up so we can get real up close and personal with these babies. Okay, so first up, this is my wallet right now. Um, I feel like maybe some of you might have missed the video where I talked about this, but it's a Filofax pocket size, adorable pink little agenda. And I'm just trying this out as my wallet. Those of you who know, know this used to be my wallet. And honestly, I'm very close to returning to that. But I just, I'm loving the extra purse space of using this instead. Like that's a lot of extra space I'm getting. And it's just more compact and obviously. But, so it's really cute. I put a little picture of the Disney castle in here. I just literally hole punched it. It's not even laminated. Um, I have a milk and honey sticker. I love putting these everywhere. I've got my driver's license in this front pocket, and then I have a bunch of these little Filofax card holders. So the first ones are Disney passes. I like to just put something fun in the front that makes me happy every time I'm, usually when you're opening your wallet, you have to pay for something. So I keep the fun stuff up front. Then I have our debit cards, credit cards, um, more fun stuff, that's Dave and Buster's cards, membership cards, uh, let's see, like discount cards, gift certificates, insurance cards this little zipper has stamps and coupons or no that's a gift certificate in there and then this is all coupons and this little top loading thing business cards in the back for my writing company and my youtube and just a little bit of paper and then i keep some cash in this back pocket so it's a great system i love it it's pretty chunky because i like to carry a lot of cards but i'm also a cash budgeting girl so it's been a struggle only having this one little section of cash. So I'm still honestly like perfecting this and I'm just letting you guys know where it's at right now. But there's definitely more to come on that one day if I figure it out or possibly just go back to this. So this is my medium sized Louis Vuitton agenda. I love it, I love it, I love it. I love to decorate it. It's so cute right now. It's all Thanksgiving up in here. I'm ready for November, I'm so excited. And I just think this is so cute. I love this layout. But this is kind of just being underutilized right now as literally just a notebook. I put a ton of different blank and lined paper in here and I just truly use it to like brainstorm every single morning. So I just put this out where I have my quiet time in the morning and then I open it up and I immediately feel inspired and happy and grateful because I just love this beautiful <laughs> setup. And I just kind of brainstorm, jot down ideas, talk about my goals and that's all I'm using it for. So. It kind of doesn't feel like as getting as much attention as it deserves right now, honestly. But I'm just not sure what to do about that because this is my, like I said, planner piece. I just, I'm in love with this. It's working out so, so well. I wish I could get this in this size, but I can't. So for now, this is really what's holding me down day in and day out. So this is what I want to show you guys most right now. Inside, I have this little dashboard. You've seen this before. I have my pin holder. You've seen that before. I have this um, thing that I made just by laminating a cute little piece of craft paper. And that's just kind of like the start of my planner. These sections, I change it up a little bit. So in here's the calendar. And I love having this one month on two pages spread. It's so nice, the squares are so big, I can fit a ton of information on here. I list out my goals on the side and it's just, just working so well. This was a, like a printable I got on Etsy, so I'll just link it. But um, love this system. I cross off the days as they go. And right now I'm pretty much only writing in here like places I have to physically be or places my husband has to be. So it's just kind of a way of tracking at a glance, like what we have going on. I've got next month, which I have not just started to fill in yet. So then you know how I've been kind of bouncing back and forth trying to track my habits? This is what I've landed on lately, and it's just so simple and satisfying. 
I just print out a month on one page, one per goal. So like I've been starting each morning with this miracle morning thing I keep talking about and I'm going to do a video on soon. Um, and every day that I achieve it, I just make a big red Sharpie X and that's it. And it's just so simple and satisfying. And I'm really enjoying just tracking my habits this way. So I have this little binder tab to kind of flip to that section. And then, like I said, each goal just has one. So one full hour of exercise every day. I just make a big X when I mark that off. Um, my activity rings. If you guys have an Apple watch, that's how they track like kind of how active you are. So I've been trying to have like a perfect week and a perfect month of always meeting the full activity requirements on my Apple Watch. It's very motivating and it's really making me like get off my butt because you have to stand up every single hour. So yeah, I just, I've been enjoying really Xing off all my goals and it's very satisfying and simple. And the nice thing about a big old binder as a planner is I can just print a full page and just do that. So have one for next month. I haven't decided what I'll be tracking then yet. Then I have my daily section. So this is also kind of a new addition, and this is what I have for you guys as a free printable today. But do you remember last time we had like a planning video, I told you kind of, I'm kind of like shy about it, but I found this website over 50 and fit, and I've really been enjoying it. And it's got really good tips. And one of his tips is to have a quotidian list, which is like a list of things you do every single day and you just check it off every single day. So I've been using that system for like at least a month now, I think, and I love it. It's awesome. Even though I have said in the past, like habit trackers are kind of overwhelming. Somehow this is just really simple. Like I just check, 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 check. And I go through the whole week and I like having it all right here. So this has been working out great. So he recommends you have two lists, one for personal and one for professional. So this is my personal one. And basically how I decide what to put on here is like, if there's any question that I might not do the thing, then it goes on here. Like I have my nighttime skincare on here because I'm gonna be honest with you guys, sometimes I'm so, so tired at night. I wanna just fall asleep and I literally have to debate it and talk myself into doing my skincare. Whereas my morning skincare, there's just no chance I'll ever skip it. Like that's just the first thing I do when I get out of bed. There's just actually no way I would miss it. So. That's not on here, but like my evening skincare that I might talk myself out of is on here. So I have like my whole morning routine, which is the miracle morning, going through meditation, journaling, affirmations, visualization, talking about my goals, which is when I use um, this beauty, reading, uh, exercising, and then kind of going about my day, tidying up, getting ready. I've been trying intermittent fasting, so I'm only eating during an eight hour window, which is interesting. <laughs> Taking my vitamins, all that good stuff. So I really love this system. Every single week I adjust it. So if I have like a hectic week, I might pare this down to like five things. Like when we were moving, I pared this way, way, way down. And I was like, just realistically, what do I want to try to do every single day that'll keep me sane? And I had like three or four things, I think. Um, whereas this is a week that I'm really trying to like make some progress and like I've put the whole list on here So you can totally change this however you want. It will look probably nothing like mine as far as what exactly you're doing And that's totally fine. Like the beauty of the system is you can adapt it to any life situation any goals Any priorities and it's just it's very satisfying and then down here throughout the week if I have a future idea like actually this morning in yoga <laughs> I was thinking I want to get upside down every single day. I think that's really good for you. So I might add a thing in the future to like get upside down, do some yoga poses that put you upside down every single day. And so that's just a place to like brainstorm for future things, not have to start doing them right away because this can become very overwhelming. I, I started with just a few things and I've been building on it. So definitely start small. Like if it helps, tell yourself I'll do this in the future. I'll work towards it. Don't overwhelm yourself right away. <laughs> Just a little tip. But anyway, I'm loving the system. And then I also have a professional one, super helpful. So this one is just Monday through Friday. And I have, on this one, I put a time limit and I broke everything down such that ideally I can do it in one hour. So like 10 minutes cleaning out my inbox, like five minutes planning the next day, five minutes doing my finances. 
and it all totals up to an hour. I had to cover some of these because it's like personal clients and stuff. But you get the idea. So this is like my professional to-do list every single day. And again, this will be totally different depending on your job, your career, your goals. But it's so helpful and um, it feels so good to check it all off. Like it's amazing. <laughs> so I really recommend this system. And then I also um, started doing a weekly list. In fact, now that I think about it, this makes no sense because the word quotidian means daily. So this is my weekly daily. But my weekly list, which is just things that recur every week, like doing the chores and laundry, having a date night, stuff like that. I also put my social media posts, like when I want to upload videos, things like that. So your job probably might not rely on that, but if you have something else that you have to do every single week, you could put that in. It's a very like easy to amend this setup to your particular situation. So loving it. It's working so well. It's my favorite type of like habit tracker that I've tried so far. Then we're into my daily to-do list, which you guys are familiar with this. This is another free printable. Um, basically, let me just show you a blank one. It's got the day and the date, anywhere you physically have to be when, and then your to-do list and notes for the future. So easy to just like check this off as I go through the day. I love this system still. Then my next section is my to-do list. So this is where I put all of my brain dump, my to-do list for the week, just stuff that has to get done. And then I've explained the system before, but basically I kind of migrate over the tasks onto daily pages so that I know like today I just have to get this stuff done and then the rest of this will get divided into different days. So that's just the same old system. I just use notebook paper for that. It's so easy. Then I have a section just for Milk and Honey Life, my YouTube and Instagram and lifestyle brand extraordinaire. <laughs> um, but I just wanted to have a section to like specifically track goals with that. So again, the nice thing about the binder is you can just have a section for whatever in your life you're really trying to help flourish right now. You could have a whole health section or for your career or whatever it may be. So in here I have calendars tracking like when videos are going up and what future goals are and future ebooks coming out and all of that good stuff. And then this last section is just called notes. And this is where I like print things out that inspire me or that I want to like spend some time with. And I really just, I freaking love printing something out and putting it in my binder. It's so simple. So right now I have a few blog posts and articles. This was like a freebie that came with the Miracle Morning book. And it's like a nice little handout that you can fill out about your goals. And I really enjoyed that. So I've been like reviewing my goals in here every week. And then finally, just some plain old, good old fashioned, delicious, yummy notebook paper. <laughs> and this last thing I showed you before is a little dashboard, but I cut slits in the hole punches so that it pops in and out. And the reason for that is that when I do my goals with these big X's that I showed you, let me see. Hmm. So when I track my goals with these big X's, I just set this here and then I Sharpie it in so that the Sharpie doesn't bleed through as it clearly would and get all over the rest of my notebook. So it's just kind of helpful. It's a little laminated page and I can like wipe it clean. And then the rest of the time it just lives back here and it pops in and out. And then I have my budget back here and that's it. So that's my updated system. So, so good. I <laughs> love it. So that's my entire life in agenda form, all my planner piece, all my current systems. You know, I just like to keep you up to date. Um, and so I guess that's it for now, but I did want to let you guys know my next ebook guide that I'm releasing. I'm so excited and I will just take a second to say thank you so much. Those of you who were a huge support in my beauty guide that just launched that meant the world to me. It was, it's been such a fun launch and so successful and I'm so thankful. And the next one's on planning. So if you are interested in that and you have something you really want me to talk about, mention it in the comments down below. I will write it just for you. Um, but it's basically going to be all about my time management, like secrets and hacks, um, planning, some cute planning stuff, but also just like the nitty gritty, like how to plan your entire life. So 
Let me know down below what you want to see for that and also just say hi because I love saying hi to you guys. You are the best and I love you and I will talk to you very soon and hit subscribe. <laughs> Bye.